Restaurants, hotels, museums, and other places are still shut down. That means their employees are still not at work if they're lucky enough to still have jobs. Well, over a million people in the tri-state are unemployed, but assisted by a $600 per week federal check. That payment ends this weekend unless Congress acts. So that extra 600 allowed me to be on top of my rent as well as I was able to pay a little bit in advance because um, being that it came in at a delay, I got everything in one shot. Sabrina Bird is an unemployed legal secretary and the single mother of a seven-year-old girl. Their situation's a big reminder that for every unemployed person in our region, many have other people relying on them. And that 600 extra dollars weekly that Congress approved through the end of this month is a big help as well. However, we've ended up with the end of the month as this Saturday, just as the way things were drafted, which I imagine takes a lot of people by surprise. Jody Kirshner is an NYU research professor who's written extensively about government monetary crises. This one is huge, and Congress is debating now what to do next. The Democrats' proposal would continue the $600 payment, but the Republicans' proposal would reduce it to about $200 a week as part of a package it hopes will get businesses hiring again and people back to work. But many of those people are like Sabrina Bird. That'll actually be a big hit, um, only because, like I said, due to my rent um, as well as food, uh, with my daughter going back to school. Meanwhile, Congress keeps debating while the money runs out. I think it's kind of selfish, you know, honestly speaking, they, they're they all, well, I'm sure, you know, us lower class are the ones that are really struggling to try to get back on our feet. Now, late this afternoon, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who, as the Majority Leader for the Republicans, essentially runs the Senate. He said that a deal between the Republicans and the Democrats could take, quote, a few weeks. Meanwhile, in those few weeks, people like Sabrina Bird are likely to have to live without that extra $600 per week at home.